Okay, part two. Again, a recap. The day that I took the crystals out, the Tesla Ray showed up. The very morning that I started doing that, I took all these crystals out. All right, so I am creating the biggest organ bubble I've ever seen. You don't want to use Home Depot buckets because that is, uh, that's not emulsifying good, healthy stuff. That plastic is toxic. All right, so what I've done is I've induced with my steering wheel, everything that I traveled across the country, uh, drinking out of copper vessels like this. Up there. And uh, I'm able to handle copper way more than I used to. That's all over my steering wheel, all over the pedals and everything. Uh, so I'm using a copper bed, which is going to create a heavy, bassy, very hardcore electrical simulation of the eight. You see all the wires? This is silicon tree pieces that go all the way back about five feet. And uh, I get these everywhere. I can get silicon tree pieces anywhere. All you got to do is just go looking where all of it's at. And then people are giving them away for like a dime a dozen. They're like nothing. So just go to the West Coast. All right. So I got a wire wrapped around them that wraps and connects to all of them. And it's laying on a convectional bed of copper all the way back five feet. So even the wire is going to hit that bed and hit all of these all at the same time with a hardcore electrical convection of the eight uh, electrical frequency, which is the sine wave half and half. So you're using half your brain because you're electrical. The snaps is everything the way your brain works is all electrical. So you want to have an eight wave. Even if it's a simulation, it's still a better remedy than nothing. So I got all these silicon trees wrapped around uh, copper, which uh, essentially, if you dig into these silicon trees, you'll find copper or silver, maybe even gold in them. And it, what it's what helps make it conductive and solid as one con uh, electrical conductive piece. That makes sense. So you see all the bark on the outside and everything is pretty messed up how they told us that it was petrified wood. But if you take a good look, this petrified wood it's nothing but quartz it's nothing but a bunch of quartz take a look it's quartz crystal see so they they change it and make it into like a phallus and they say oh well, this is some it's just bullshit man they just lying constantly uh, but you reap what you sow right now i'm reaping benefits the s wave that comes out of these uh surge protectors in here near my bubble are blocked off got cell phones in there charging this stuff blocks out all of that emf because that's what the ground and tape does it collects the emf waves and blocks it out it's all copper copper is just an all-encompassing healthy type element now i'm dealing with all this copper it's bringing all the doodles out see that eyes are the windows to the soul big rocks forming the brow nose lips bottom lip cleft in the chin like her strong jaw like hers high cheekbones like hers. It's all coming out. Like all these doodles are everywhere. I can't really point all of them out together. There's another one, but I'm surrounded by them. I'm being engulfed by them. They're everywhere now. So I'm just gonna keep on expanding on this and getting rid of all the carbon. Unfortunately, they're so cute back there with their little doodle expressions. And, and what I mean by that is uh, there's an electrical uh, signature that goes over it that the electrical brain of the illuminated one will have a full perception of. And that's why I can see them in the half wits are like, no man, you're crazy. There's no faces in the trees. Like they can't see nothing at all. They're, they're blind, they can't see shit. So I can see them. But I'm gonna uh, uh, see this more because I'm inducing this type of environment. So you reap what you sow, you wanna reap benefits. Kind of like uh, a lot of business that she shows me, you know, uh, kind of like these masons. Uh, Payback is a chick, and so is karma. So if she deems like this 25%, just save them. And let the 75% reap what they sow. Man, y'all gonna get ate by reptilians for an eternity after this. It's fucked up, man. All these kids y'all hurting and stuff, y'all should be running out of the lodge scared to hurt anybody else because it's a tally being made. Like, it's not, nah. I'm on the winning side. Girls are smarter than boys, so I'm willing to acknowledge that see here's another landscape of micro the silicon astral jet the tesla you know or whatever you want to call it that energy 
comes up through the ground and you walk on top of the micro. See what I'm saying? And it was like Billy Jean, like the shit was lighting up. So that's essentially what all this micro is. It's just the landscape being broke up, the Silicon Valleys and the landscapes. You walk on it, it lights up just like Avatar. So that's what we were. And the DNA activations of the bumps popping up all on the arms are a good indicator. No, I don't have moles. My moles I have that I do have are actually black. See? I got black moles on my body. If, uh, if I'm doing a good job of capturing it, I don't have very many moles at all. But the DNA activation is coming from all the sun gazing. And uh, yeah, I'm simulating a simulation that allows me to illuminate and connect with my original DNA. Wow, imagine that. But if you drink a bunch of Clyde Silver to do that, you're going to have a heart attack. Why? Because you're not breathing in silica dioxide. But if I went blue in here, I probably could survive because of all this silica dioxide that I am burning and emulsificating off of the Tesla rays, which is uh, enforcing an eight type of simulation. Now, there's going to be three of them, and it's going to be running all together to push all these silica trees and, and everything to the max because I got to... I'm all about that. And when this environment is so much more, this accumulator is going to work so much more, even better, because it's going to be accumulating a shitload of life force energy from my environment. And this thing's going to work even better because it's only depending on how much organ energy that it can accumulate. See? If your environment is intense, then you've got a serious operation happening here. You know what I'm saying? Look at that little guy, right? This is absolutely adorable. So the eyes are the windows to the soul, it would be presumable that there would be a chakra finding a host and the eyes would lead to this chakra. It's probably just sitting in there. And that's how, how everything is uh, conscious on that kind of level, a telepathic level. Even if it's us, we have a full alignment, which we're moving and walking and talking. But uh, from my presumptions of things I've found is that 